Okay, so quick info dump in case anyone watching this video doesn't know. Exos Heroes is a gacha mobile game that was released in 2019 and shut down in May of 2023. A big reason for it shutting down was due to a huge update they made for Season 5 which essentially changed the entire game. I won't go too in depth into it since this is a really touchy subject for me since I really really love this game and seeing what this update did to the community really hurt me. But I don't know, may maybe I'll make a whole separate rant video for that. But anyways, TLDR, I felt that Exos Heroes was a very unique mobile RPG and what the Season 5 update did was, well, basically turned it into a bootleg Epic 7. Everything from adding artifacts, to substats to the gear, to sets, a bunch of new things in the combat, so on and so forth. It completely changed the game, like this wasn't even just like a small little quality of life update or adding some new features, they changed everything. They completely changed how our gear worked, added artifacts, completely changed characters' kits, removed a lot of the unique things from their kits in favor of artifacts. It was just terrible. And very much hurt the veterans who raised certain characters, but those characters were now dog shit after the updates they made. It's really a shame because this game has some of the most amazing character designs I've ever seen. But yeah, anyways, again, like I said, I don't want to go too in depth into it. I, honestly, I've rented about a lot. I've rented about enough. I think many people in the community have heard about it enough. If you guys want more information on that, I'm sure you guys can find other videos on YouTube talking about it. But again, maybe I'll make my own rant video in the future since yeah I have uh, I have my own biased and personal takes on this whole situation. Though I do just want to note that the director did acknowledge that this update fucked up anything. Quoting here, First, it is sad to say that the Season 5 update was more of a failure than a success. There may be different analysis on the causes, but in the end there is one reason. My decision itself was the problem. Understatement of the century. I can't find the original links, but from what I recall, I think one of the big reasons this change was made was because the developer thought that making new characters was getting too complicated. And I could somewhat understand where he was coming from from that. Because if you look at like a character's kit, there is like so many different skills and explanations. But at the same time, that's what we players loved about this game. Every character was super unique. Every new fake core that came out could completely change how a character looked. It was exciting. It was super exciting. Sure, it was complicated, but all, we as players were able to understand it with a bit of playtesting and making team comps and stuff like that. So seeing the director say that he felt that creating more characters was getting too complicated and that's why he went through this route was just fucking terrible. If we wanted to play Epic 7, we would have gone to play Epic 7. I'm sorry, I'll shut up now. I need to stop. Anyways, after the game shut down, and again, I I barely have my sources for this, I am just talking about this through memory, but after the game shut down, Exos Heroes basically got sold as an NFT game, question mark, now known as Desperado BT18 or B218, I don't know how you're supposed to read this. Now, to the main point of this video, is Exos Heroes back? Well, now let me finally get to that. So just last week, there was a huge update in Desperado BT-18 and called Journey Through Memory Lane. Through the missing link, the B218 Exos continent connected to numerous multiverses. In the scars of Exos, various heroes gather as agents in Desperado BT-18 to resolve this. As time passes, the agents discover another BT-18 Exos content that retains the appearance of its past self. It's unclear where this place is the true past of the B218X's continent or just the location facing a similar fate. Perhaps here they might be able to prevent another missing link. Perhaps they might discover clues to the missing link. Perhaps they can change the past to prevent the missing link! <coughs> and scrolling through here you can see they have the map, the world exploration is back, you can run through town, the story is back, Zeb and Stunier is here, equipment, holy dragon grounds, daily dungeons, everything. It pretty much looks like the original Exos. Now I personally haven't played Desperado BT18 so I don't know how much of this stuff was originally in Desperado but just looking at this, we can see that it basically looks like they're bringing back the original Exos. Now we're going to launch the game, play it, and see for ourselves. Oh my god. <laughs> Again, I haven't played Desperado, so I definitely could have been hearing this title screen music for a long time now, but hearing it again... Oh, it hits, man. I've missed this game so much. Also, Desperado does have a PC client, but for whatever reason, I can't log in with it, so that's why I'm playing it through an emulator. I'm sorry. Oh, there's Iris. 
Okay, I don't, I don't care about all your NFT shit. You can bring me back to memory lane. All right, so we can walk around this iris. Oh, it's, it's, it's nice to see everyone again. Oh, you can talk to them. It's FC. FC is start take here. Wow. Oh my god, is that young Carrie and young Donk dancing together? It's like they're, it's like they're young FC forms. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. Oh, it's so nice to see everyone again. Oh yeah, so if you click this button down here that says connect to memory lane, this should put you into the original Exos. <gasps> oh my god! Oh! Uh, it's making me so emotional to see all this again! Oh my god, I've missed this game so much. Oh my god, this battle theme! Dude, the music in this game was so freaking good! Oh. Yeah, we, we have Zess again. So are we gonna be able to do normal polls? No NFT bullshit? Yeah, so as you can see, like, the world map is back. We have Zess too. You can, you can play through... You can play through the whole story mode again. And yeah, like, it looks like you're still getting Zess. Yeah, see, it, lo it looks like you're still getting Zess, as you can see from all these quests here. So, I wonder, are they f going to fully bring back just doing regular polling for free without all the NFT bullshit? Yeah, so it looks like it only goes up to the prologue right now in terms of story. Oh yeah, we can walk around in town. I remember being able to see players here. This was so nice. Oh! Alright, so they don't have every character in here, but we can see, we can see enough. Alright, so off the bat, looking at Bathory's passive here, we can see that they're using the reworked kits, unfortunately. Oh, and yeah, gear has sets on it, so it's probably gonna have substats too. Alright, so for anyone that was looking forward to it being the original version of EXO, so before the huge Season 5 update, unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's what they brought back. But if you just have any nostalgia for the game and just want to see the game again, it's here! It's pretty much here. You can only play up to the prologue, but you can see everyone again. You can look at whatever characters they have in the journal, if you just want to see some FCs, want to see their skill animations again. You can't do that. You can still relive your nostalgia for a bit. And if for whatever reason you did like the new Exos Heroes update, personally I feel like only new players would have liked it. I feel like us veterans got totally fucked, but again, you know, you do you. If you did like the new Exos for whatever reason, it looks like it's being completely brought back. Yeah, very minimal right now. There's no summoning yet, no PvP or dungeons or anything, but it seems like they're going to slowly add everything. So yeah, Exos Heroes seems to be coming back in Desperado. Honestly, if it was the old version, I definitely would have hopped back onto it. I am a bit... I'm like... I'm still debating on if I like the game enough to play the new version. I definitely feel like I was mainly only soured by being a veteran, but maybe if I go into the new version of Exos as a new player, it won't feel as bad. But still, at the end of the day, it's like, if I really wanted to play with these kind of systems, I would just go play Epic 7. Like, that is not what I wanted from Exos Heroes. I liked how unique Exos Heroes was, so I'm conflicted. At the end of the day, we'll just have to see how much more they plan to implement into this and how fast they plan to do it as well. But for me personally, as much as, uh, as, much as I love Exos and really miss this game and the characters, the music, the art, designs, everything, I don't particularly think that I like it enough to play the new version. It has to be the old version for me. Like, dude, seriously, look at how amazing this game's 3D animations were. Every FC, every new character. Dude, like, there was so much love put into this game. Oh yeah, it doesn't look like there's much else to look at for the Journey Through Memory Lane update, sadly. It only did just come out, but it's nice to see what they're doing. Even if it's not for me personally, because it's not the old version of Exos, I imagine there's going to be people out there that are probably still happy for this, because there's probably people that like the new version, or people that maybe they only knew the new version of Exos, they never played the original. 
So yeah, spread the word out there y'all, Exos Heroes is coming back. As long as you're okay with having to make an account on that whole dumb NFT shit, honestly, I don't really know how that stuff works. But if, as long as you're okay making an account on that, Come back to Exos, y'all. Well, yeah, I think that just about does it. Thank you, thank you to everyone for watching this video. Again, I'm sorry, but I'm being quite honest about the fact that I'm not super informative. Everything I said in this video was a bit biased due to my love for Exos Heroes. If anyone is more interested in hearing about the game or about what happened in this huge update, there are probably other videos you could find all over YouTube. I might make a rant video myself, but as for this video, I want to at least try to keep the ranting to a minimum and just showcase what has been updated in Desperado BT18. Thanks for watching! Bye bye everybody!